obvious. Little tramp. Don't jump to the wrong conclusion. Nick Tilsley? It wasn't like that. Well, it's no wonder you had such a cob on when I pulled him. Listen, you don't know the facts. <laughs> I heard everything, Leanne. You are finished. Are you skiving again? Shut up. It's getting busy out there, and do not tell me to shut up. Well, tell Betty to pull her finger out. She's not even here yet. Well, she should be. Oh, I'm telling Lloyd. Well, tell him whatever you want. We're in the middle of something here, so go on, shoo. Right. Just give me the chance to explain. Please, I'm begging you. Just come back to the flat. I'll tell you everything. And I caught him opening the yard earlier, playing games in a mobile phone. <laughs> She's work shy, Lloyd. Was she not on a break? No, she wasn't on a break. Are you scared of her? Of course I'm not scared of her. Now they have a childish dub. <laughs> Shush, she's coming. And where are you going now? Mind your business. She's probably just popping out for a fag. She doesn't smoke. Oi, I hope you're docking her wages. Mm. We'll see. Shift from hell. <laughs> well, I've always been outnumbered two to one. Gang up on you, do they? Well, laundry-wise especially. Yeah. His socks used to march downstairs on their own. It's like the sorcerer's apprentice. It's just as bad now. Uh, you better not be. Hey, I can polish shoes. And I'll do all the ironing. Will you really? Uh-huh. Well, Eddie does most of ours, don't you, Eddie? Uh -huh. Mind you, teenage girls are no strolling in the park, mind. There's always some crisis. Yeah, but this time I'll be able to use my own life experiences. Different generation. You should flick through one of our Katie's magazines. Position of the week. Never mind position of the week. There's things in there that make your eyes pop out. Hey, do you remember that dream I had where my eyes had popped out? I, I, I was holding them like that, wondering yeah. what to do, eh? <laughs> <laughs> then there's all the drama with the mates, the crushes, chat rooms, clothes. Are you trying to put them off? Yeah, well, Faye isn't like that. She's lively, there's no denying it. But she's an angel, isn't she, Eddie? Just ignore everything that she says. Don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, she'll be our little angel. You deserve one. Oh. Peter? Peter? He's not here. So come on. Spill the beans. Right, first of all, don't call me a tramp or a slag or whatever it is you call me back there. Oh, why not? Because you're liable to upset me, Tracy. And I know you've been to prison, <laughs> but I swear to God, don't push me. Ooh, you're starting with a threat. Very bold. There was something going on between me and Nick, but it was a mistake and it didn't last long. No, oh, I had the same experience. And it was over before I married Peter. Well, whether it's over or not, carrying on behind my brother's back, laughing it up with your ex. Tut, 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 Leanne. I'm not proud of it. No. Oh. And how many days to the blessing? I love Peter. Next Monday, isn't it? Please, Tracy. I'm asking you as my sister-in-law. Step, sister-in-law. Please. Please don't rock the boat. And Carla had her eye on him. She had more than her eye on him. But nothing happened? No. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, Peter Barlow stays faithful. You might just read it on the front page of the Gazette. Hey, never mind with the jokes. Oh, don't you worry. He had his turn. Not with an ex, he didn't. I'm glad he resisted. Oh, it must have stung, though, eh? Knowing he turned her down for you. Yeah. Yeah, it did. I mean, I'm not a greatest fan or anything, but I have to admit, she is roasting. Thanks. Peter adores you, Leanne, for some absurd reason. And so does Simon. So do the decent thing. Oh, don't worry. I will. But a word of advice. Never cross a Barlow. Hi, Alfie. It's Rosie again. How dare you send me for that job? Who do you think I am? I've got standards. I do not do topless. Phone me back. Topless? Oh. What's wrong with you? Go on, why don't you tell your sister what's been happening? What's the point? Why? What's happened? Well, she's had a warning from college and now she's got to see the principal because she's fallen behind. Oh, Sophie, pull yourself together, will you? I've just been asked to go topless. Where's Mum? <laughs> What's that say, uh, second thing down on the specials? Pan-fried snapper. 
I've got my reading specs with me. Uh, you're a bit young for reading glasses, aren't you? You use a small print checks its toll. Everything's small print in my game, Sally. It's funny how a day can take such an unexpected turn. There's a song about it, isn't there? <laughs> 24 little hours. Bah, what a difference a day makes. <laughs> Dinah Washington. Well, what are you having to drink? Um, I might have a glass of wine. Oh, champagne. I won't drink a whole bottle. So, get it by the glass. Is that allowed? <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Can I ask you something, Jeff? This is a day, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> it's just, just a bit nervous. Oh, me too. Oh, give up. No, people should admit to it more. It's, it's a 21st century stigma. You're Mr. Confident. I've trained myself, so people have faith in me. That's the business I'm in. Yeah, so you can hold him. I might hold the snapper. I'm having the champagne. You all right, love? Not really, Betty, no. You're, uh, you're not pregnant, are you? Do you mind? <clears throat> no, no. I was only trying to help. I say something to her then, Anna. She's working, isn't she? Have you heard her speaking to the customers? Look at the face in her lord. She's going to empty the place. Look, um, I'm scared of it. There, I admit oh. it. I'm not working Valentine's Day. Not all day, anyway. If you're not going to ask her to, I will. Fine, you do it. Tracy, we need to talk about the rotors. Now, I know your brother's getting married, but I'm not working the whole of Valentine's Day. So if I do the day, you can do the night. I'll think about it. Well, that's that, then. No, it's not that, Lloyd. If she doesn't change her attitude, I'm walking. Good evening, Miss McIntyre. I'll have a pint of your I'm sorry, Lloyd. I'm going to have to go out again. What? Do you have to? Stop her, Lloyd! Tracy, think of... the tips. Hello, Betty. Hello, my love. I'm telling you. Shift from hell. What's the matter? Tracy knows about Nick. Oh. I was rowing with Carla. She heard everything, Deirdre. Oh, if we could have picked one person. She told him, yeah? Well, I can't think what would stop her. She was loving it. Hey, hang on a minute, Leanne. You're the one who's in the wrong here. Yeah, I know I am. Oh, as if this weren't bad enough with everything else. Why? What else is going on? Um, forget it. It doesn't matter. Leanne? Peter's drinking again. Oh, oh, no! Where is he now? He's at a meeting. <sighs> Something, I suppose. I can't imagine what he'll do if he finds out. What is it you always say, Ken? Murder will out? Uh, it's Shakespeare, not me. Yeah, well, Shakespeare got it wrong. <sighs> There's plenty get away with murder. Adultery is the thing. Adultery will out. You pathetic little sap. What? Leanne Battersby. You're kidding me. Not that I needed any proof. Who told you? Next question. Don't suppose there's any point in me denying it. How long did it last? Oh, well, we did it more than once. The affair! Will you keep your voice down, please, Tracy? My mum's in a bath. Is she better than me? Next question. How could you? Mm. It's the one way. She's still in love with Peter. Oh, poor you. Let's stick the boot in all you like. Oh, I'll leave that to Peter. It's all right. I care about her. Of course you do. You just want her to be happy. You stood back and you sacrificed yourself for her. Nick, you're my hero. <laughs> you jealous? <sighs> Even Leanne didn't have the guts to ask me that. You are, aren't you? What of her? Because of you? She's got a husband who dotes on her and a family. All the things you'll never have. What, you think that's what I want? Maybe. In this sorry little dump of a street? Go ahead and tell him. See if I care. What, you wouldn't mind? <laughs> if you think it's worth it. Oh, it is. Just to see the look on your smug face when he's finished with you. Peter wasn't the first person you thought about when you found out about this, was he? The first person you thought of was yourself and the damage you could cause. 
It was six and two threes, if I'm honest. Ah, get out. Well, at least I don't wreck people's homes. No, you just batter them to death. <gasps> you and Leanne were made for each other. Exactly. do everything we can. What if he's waiting for me? I think we know about it by now. Yeah, maybe she's not as gung-ho as we think she is. Listen, whatever happens, I know how hard this has been for you. Oh, the whole thing's regrettable. Yeah, it is. And I probably deserve everything I'm gonna get. Not everything. No. Good luck. You know, you should have been nice to your sister. I was nice. You told to flirt with the headmaster. Well, if she doesn't want to get chucked out of college, she's got to think practically. Anyway, she knew I didn't mean it. Yeah, well, it's lucky she's got Sean, eh? Well, how about me, Jason? I had a very traumatic experience today. And I need your support, too. And I've given it. You just said you didn't see the harm. Well, I don't. You're a glam model. I thought you'd be into it. You're just a typical bloke, you are. Uh, who dropped everything to come and get you, Rosie? Thought someone had died. Where is my mum when I need her? <sighs> All right, okay, I'm sorry, babe. You are way more than a topless model. Do you really mean that? Yeah, well, these girls are thick, cheap, and all they're interested in is money. You have got more class in this little finger than they have in the whole body. Jason, that is so sweet. I never thought about my little finger like that before. I thought you were working. Sit down, both of you. Why? Battersby. She's been having an affair with Nick Tilsley. Ah, Janice? Leanne! I heard her talking to Carla in the box in the Rovers and she admitted everything. Well, don't act too shocked. We're not. Well, people would think you didn't care. Oh, you think I'm making this up? No. Then what? It's done with Tracy. She's married Peter and they're happy. You knew about this? How? Ken walked in on something he shouldn't have. You caught them? Well, I saw enough to be suspicious. Uh, Leanne filled in the blanks. She was very honest. And? She gave us her word that it was over. You haven't seen what we've seen, Tracy. Peter, it is worse the night they opened the bar. The things she had to put up with and the things that Simon had to put up with. What, so that gives her the right to sleep around? Well, Peter drove her away. But she came back to him. I'm living in the twilight zone. Look, whatever happened with Nick, she regrets it. But who are we to destroy everything by telling him the truth? His family. He's ill, Tracy. Oh, please. He's an alcoholic. That was the nicest jambalaya I've ever tasted. Did you fancy a pudding? Oh, joking, honey. I'm going to be massive. As if. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd better not earn any more to drink, because I might start making a fool of myself. <gasps> Can I take you for lunch tomorrow? Oh, I'd love that. But uh, maybe we shouldn't go so fast. Day after then? <laughs> I've had a real year of it, Jeff. More than a year, and not that I want to scare you off or anything, but. Try all you like. It just gets difficult sometimes. Well, I've been lucky so far. Lucky for you? No deaths in the family, no divorce. Mm. And you don't get married, you see. Mm, that's where I went wrong. It's not something I ever fancied. It's had its moments, but I've enjoyed it on the whole. He wants his head seen too. Let's not think about that now. I'm tired, Jeff. I'm ready to go home. Oh, I'll get the William. <laughs> thank you. And um, thanks again, if you know what I mean. Pleasure's all mine. Are you jealous? Are you all reading off a crib sheet? Well, you had a thing going with Nick. This isn't about me. This is about Peter. 
You're all sticking together. You're siding with Nick Tilsley against your own son. We're siding with Leanne. But why? Because she's the best thing that's ever happened to him. She was cheating on him. We all make mistakes. Well, she is relatively frigid compared to you, I'll give you that. Don't you dare. But we're not comparing her with your low standards. Look, think about Simon. Think about everything that's happened to Simon. Leanne is a wonderful mother to that boy. What a dig. That wasn't what he meant. Wasn't it? Well, she's certainly the golden girl. You've made that pretty clear. Don't be ridiculous, Tracy. A kindred spirit? We agonised. That's why you've closed ranks, isn't it? Not because of Leanne or Simon, but because you've been there, both of you. You don't want to look like hypocrites. Remind me, Tracy, who's Amy's father? Wasn't he married at the time? Yeah, all right, Ken. Yeah, well, she should think before she speaks. He was married to Karen, but he was estranged. Who would benefit if we told Peter? Well, don't you feel sorry for him? Half the street knows his wife's been putting it about and he's been walking around none the wiser. And all the better for it. He has to be told. No, he doesn't. He does, ma'am. Peter has to be told. Told what? Will you please, please stop phoning me? As soon as he knows, we'll know. Maybe it's for the best. No, it isn't. Whatever happens, Leanne. I'm learning the hard way again, aren't I? Why break that bit of a lifetime? Well, maybe I'm finally growing up. Well, you never know. There's a chance you'll keep her mouth shut. Yeah, and it's always tomorrow. And the day after that. And the day after that. She's not going to keep her mouth shut forever, is she? The game's up, Nick. We ran out of luck. I'll be here for you. <sighs> and what happened to Italy? Uh, still there, as far as I know. <laughs> You must all think I'm soft in the head, nothing. Look at you all. The face is on you when I walk through that door. Come on. What is it? What has Peter got to know? All right. I'll tell you. Tracy. No, no, let us speak. Come on. What's the big secret? I might have to work on Valentine's Day. I might have to miss the blessing. And that's it, is it? That's what you were rowing about? They were furious with me. Lloyd's been doing the rota. I mean, there is a chance I will make the blessing, but I might have to work in the evening. At the Rovers? Yeah. Where we're having the reception? Yeah. I mean, if we think it's disgraceful, you know, it's your blessing, and they won't even give her the night off. We should be having words with Steve about it, make no mistake. So, what was it you popped round for? Just this one. I, uh, I would like to have lunch with you tomorrow. You said no. I've detabled my offer. <laughs> Better not have. <laughs> what time? Well, we get 45 minutes for lunch, but I could probably get away with an hour. Uh, that's work, is it? Back there? Yeah, you could meet me outside if you like. Say, one o'clock. One o'clock it is. Gentlemen, forgotten all about them. Thank you for the perfect evening. Yeah, it was it was smashing. Uh I'll see you tomorrow. I wish I hadn't said smashing. Can I take that back? Too late. <laughs> Don't hold it against me. Good night, Sally. Good night. Hey, love. Everything all right? Yeah. What were, you, uh, what were you standing near the window for? Oh, just wondering where you are. It's late. Oh, yeah. Well, if you're asking, no, I haven't touched a drop. No, no. I wasn't suggesting you had. No, I went to, I went to the physio, then the meeting went on and on. A uh, new lad turned up. He's only a young kid in a right state, so I had a word with him after, you know, tried to chivvy him along a bit. Oh, good for you. Yeah, when I've been there long enough, I think I'd like to sponsor him. Oh, you know, I always think they're going to do a fun run when you say that, or 50 lengths at Weddy Baths. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if only. 
So is everything else all right? Yeah, it is, but, well... I called in on the madhouse on my way back, you know, and I walked in in the middle of a row with me dad and Deirdre, with Tracy. Oh. What were they rowing about? Well, this is the thing. Apparently, Tracy can't make the 14th. Only for the evening. And Deirdre thinks she shouldn't. And that's why they were rowing? Yeah. Oh. What do you make of that? <laughs> well, she'll still be there, won't she? I mean, if, if she's serving. Yeah, exactly. That's what I said. <sighs> I thought you were going to say something really awful. Like what? I don't know. <sighs> Come here. How was your night? Oh, you know, nothing special, just the usual. I'm so lucky to come home to you. Some of them poor beggars there tonight living on their own. Broken marriages, broken homes. I'm just so lucky. Come here. The Coronation Street tram crash is coming very soon and it's available to pre-order right now. Next, and just with two more weeks until the final, the biggest loser ups the ante, 557 feet. You have to climb 570 stairs in total. 